Hi, Dave Smith here. So here we are again. This is the this is more in the lockdown diary videos. This is May. Okay, so now <clears throat> by this stage the uh, the lockdown is starting to ease. It is uh, not lifted yet, but it is definitely easing, and we can now do some uh, travelling around. Now, because of that, uh, and I'm going to the gym, so I'm not on my sort of five or six mile walk every day now. I'm uh, at the gym every day, uh, and because we can now travel, I'm getting out and about a bit. So I've taken some slight liberties with the um, sort of parameters of the project. So rather than necessarily it's being one shot every day when I've visited somewhere uh, uh, s somewhere sort of touristy I've taken a series of images so I might have done five or six images at one place all in one go and counted those for five or six days worth of uh, images so I've taken some slight sort of uh, poetic license so to speak um, but I, you know, I, I hope that I hope that uh, it stays within the sort of um, spirit of, of the project, uh, and 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 in in any case, it it, it clearly reflects the uh, the way in which uh, lockdown was happening, the way in which lockdown was changing, how its effects on me were changing, uh, and so in that sense, I think it's actually quite uh, quite valuable as as an exercise. Again, on the screen next to me, you can see the images uh, as a slideshow. These are May uh, May's images. Excuse me. And uh, <clears throat> and as ever, I'm going to put some images in for us to talk about. And this first image was actually shot on the first of May, and I did this. I'd gone out scouting this. This is um, a building that's part of the Spanish Gallery, I believe. <clears throat> which isn't actually opened uh, yet, it's very close and the idea is that it's going to house the uh, Spanish paintings that used to be in um, in uh, the Auckland Castle which is uh, once the home of the Prince Bishops uh, we're going back several centuries there <clears throat> But I'd noticed this uh, this building, and I had this idea again as part of the MFA. I had this idea of shooting buildings in a long exposure, and so I was looking to go down at night time <coughs> to make these photographs. And I did indeed go down <coughs> one evening, and uh, this building was all lit up as we see it now, and these lights are sort of around the periphery of the windows. It's spectacular. Um, but I wanted to, <coughs> I wanted to shoot it uh, after some rain so that you get the reflections in the um, pavement. I didn't have to wait long, of course, because I live in the northeast of England. Uh, so I went back. Uh, I went back just after it had rained, and I shot this building twice. I shot it with uh, black and white medium format using the uh, Mamiya, and. Uh, that was a 12 minutes exposure. Uh, this one, uh, this is a, a faster film <coughs> uh, and indeed a faster lens. So this was shot on a 20mm f 1.8 I want to say, so, whereas the Mamiya's uh, lens is uh, something like an f 5.6. So the difference in the exposures were dramatic and don't forget that um, <clears throat> the Mamiya exposure was so slow I had to factor in reciprocity so that 12 minutes is uh, uh, includes um, uh, reciprocity so when we've when we've got when we've got all that the exposure for this image was much less and I think maybe maybe it was eight seconds and uh, uh, I, uh, I didn't use a tripod for it what I did was brace the camera against um, against um, a lamppost because the Mamiya was on the tripod doing its 12 minute exposure and I did this at the same time <coughs> and it's worked pretty well so I'm quite pleased with that I didn't know what the reciprocity characteristics of this film were so I just uh, 
sort of took a metre reading and then doubled it. So I gave it a, a one stop extra exposure and it seems to have worked pretty well. Uh, this is from the scan that the guys in Germany did, so uh, I, I don't know what the negative actually looked like, but the, the scan looks terrific. Okay, so <coughs> moving on. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, one of the places that I got out to was Eggleston Abbey, which is uh, in Barnard Castle. And so this is a view of, uh, uh, of Eggleston Abbey uh, on really quite a beautiful day, as you can see. Uh, and uh, I shot several here, so Eggleston Abbey appears on several days in May. <coughs> Uh, then the next one is the obligatory horse picture. Uh, I, I just was uh, interested in sort of making this so, so the, some other shots, some other portrait type shots of horses were on their faces. This is the sort of full horse, so to speak. <coughs> uh, then I went, <coughs> excuse me, and see if I can, okay. I was going to try and edit that out, but I don't think that will work, so I'm sorry. Um, okay, so uh, the next picture is um, uh, of the iconic Tyne Bridge, which is, uh, this is a, a probably a, a less familiar view from, from underneath looking up. Uh, but I was in Newcastle-upon-Tyne as well, so I have several images in there from Newcastle, um, <coughs> including the Tyne Bridge, of course. <coughs> Uh, I also came across this image in, uh, ta in um, Newcastle and it, uh, I'm sure you all know that there was this sort of, yeah, I want to say 1960s architectural movement called Brutalist. It'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find a more brutal example of Brutalist architecture than this really disgusting building in, um, in Newcastle <coughs> and it looks like they're doing work in that area so it might be a building that's destined not to have too much more future about it uh, and then this final image this month is uh, is uh, this shop sign uh, and you see these kinds of shop signs uh, uh, often now but they're typed or they're handwritten um, but this is uh, this is a very ornate uh, probably quite expensive to, to produce sign that says don't enter if you have symptoms of sexism, racism, transphobia, homophobia or COVID-19 <coughs> and I couldn't resist taking that picture uh, because it just spoke volumes and particularly because the, the, the shop owners had done such uh, a phenomenal job in the way that they made that sign. So there we are, there's um, a snapshot of May's images <clears throat> as ever if you want to see them check out the blog look at the photo stories the photo essays section on my website all the images are there now uh, there will be a zine I'm going to make this zine in a more traditional zine fashion than my previous one so staple down the centre fold it over A4 in size uncoated paper <clears throat> all that stuff uh, and I want to say uh, again, you know, if you're enjoying these videos, if you like this style of video, um, you know, not just mine, but but others, you know, if you're uh, sick to death of being served up from YouTube the uh, ubiquitous gear review, or uh, you know, this new lens just came out, or I must have latest camera, or don't buy this camera till you've seen this review, and so on, and you want to get um, to a more thoughtful photography uh, then you know if you like if you subscribe if you comment that tells the algorithm that this is the kind of content that you want to see and not just mine due to other people are making similar content as well and you'll, you'll start to see those come up in your algorithm rather than the con continual <coughs> uh, gear review type uh, videos anyway enough said Thanks for watching. Bye for now.